and hello and welcome back to Anno 1800 the anarchist um, we are back here now in the old world and we do have our pig island here that is the pig island we have lots of, of pig farms here and produce the sausages that we need and the soap and well will fresh is not a fitting name for that so we're going to rename it to hock hoven some of you suggested that in the comments i think it's a nice idea and this is now hock hoven and we will need to find another uh, name then for will fresh i don't know where we're going to have that i'm not going to rename any other towns for now it's a bit confusing then after a while so we have hock hoven here now producing all that and let's go back now to the new world here we have the new island belo verticale where we settled on this island here so we have like three islands now here in the new world there's still another island here that we could sell on which has sugar cane and cotton and cocoa i think cocoa is quite important then we don't have that on the other on the other big island so we should actually get this one there as well we do have some steel beams left so let's get back to um marillo and there we have um yeah 12 steel beams we can use that to settle on this one here too so we have four islands then in the in the new world that's all nice very nice okay um what i can see is my balance is kind of unstable at the moment so let's have a look if my people miss something yeah sausage is down so let's have a look i do have two schooners on the sausage trade so um um yeah let's say i want to get another 50 tons there and i put another clipper the wild pigeon on this sausage trader here because um schooners again are quite slow so we're doing that and what i want to do down here we still have some farmers in hockhoven for the sausage so i already built a few additional slaughterhouses and um, what we definitely need to do here is having another warehouse just like that since the other one is quite full overloaded and then i will have i want to have more pig farms here so let's have a look we can have it here and then we have like it cost me 30 farmers let's build three more that should suffice three more pig farms here four more sausages that's five there five there and another five farms or pig size here very nice and then we also need three more slaughterhouses which cost me 50 workers each so i'm going to have a worker shortage then with that if i want to build one more so let's have a look um we do have some farmers left so let's upgrade a few more farmers to workers very nice and now we can have a third slaughterhouse which i'm going to place here and we can also upgrade that warehouse there and did I upgrade this one here? I did. Okay, so this one's upgraded already. And so we've increased the sausage production just a bit more. So we could also increase... No, we can't increase productivity here. It just decreases the happiness way too much. On both sides, look at that. I would have riots here. So let's not do that. But I hope that's enough for now for the, with the sausages. But... Yeah, we definitely need to keep an eye on that. And soap, bread is looking good. Um, schnapps is okay. Fish and work cloth is okay. So I'm quite happy with those things. Let's have a look at the sewing machines. Beer is not looking that good. Sewing machines is looking very good up there. Um, but beer is kind of low. So let's have a look at the trade route before I look. Yeah, so beer is low here in Bell Rocks too. So we have a high beer consumption. That's of course because my population here in Bell Rock is also consuming beer and that is not something that i want to have um let's have a look there real quick i do have enough mold i do have some hops there's still some farmers here left yeah let's do that let's increase the hops production by 50 percent that's okay and let's increase the green production by 22 percent and then we can go for the malt house yeah that doesn't increase the unhappiness that much you know so we have 50 percent there and now i can have oh yeah that's that's increasing the unhappiness so let's just build additional brew houses 
so I can have one more here. Eh, just a bit. To get a bit more beer out of those brew houses there. And we do have the trade union here, so at some point I'm definitely going to use that in that area here. for Because we have lots of factories here and a trade union chest in the middle of it will push the productivity there quite a bit. But I'm relying on, on the fact that this should work now. Our little fleet here. Let's get it out there. And let's destroy the schooner. Just like that. We don't need them anymore. What I'm doing right now is building more clippers and also some ship of the lines because as a protection, you know, the more ships I have, the more warships I have, the less it is likely that an opponent will declare war on me. So that's not going to happen then. Okay, so Mercier, the anarchist, has another quest for us. A merchant who will pay a price that matches the effort needed to produce the goods rather than the deflated value given it to it by the so-called free market. I'd never fall for such a blatant attempt to infiltrate us. Follow her ship, bring me proof of her true intentions. A follow quest, that is new. Sail to the starting point. So it's a follow quest, let's take two frigates for that. They're fast, agile. For this quest there and while my frigates are on their way um, i want to start with the cotton production here in marillo because we want the fur coats up as uh, up as soon as possible so we have the cotton here and the cotton mill and it only needs the farmers we have enough of them and some timber and the fertility of course and we all have that so let me just check if there's something else here i could do yeah the couch would be nice for bicycles then but we need a couch fertility for that and right, there was something else. Let's get um, 20 tons. Oops, it's always at unlimited here. Let's get 30 tons of timber and 10 tons of steel beams for this last island down here. So I can settle here too. For, well, I think cocoa is quite nice here. And sugarcane. I mean, I have sugarcane on, on quite a lot of islands now. The pearl here is very important on this one, on Belo Verticale. And here we have now the cotton. So let's start with that. I'm doing that over here because we have lots of space here. There we have some oil fields. That's also nice to know. And then we start with a warehouse here. And the cotton plantations. I don't know how big they are anymore. So 144 fields. So they are quite big as we can see. That's one minute each. So 30 seconds for the cotton mill, so two to one. Um, I have four now, let's have six, let's have eight. I really want to use, I really don't want to, to rebuild them all the time. Or not rebuild, but expand those production chains. And we have enough space up here for another cotton production line then. Just like that. Uh, that's going to be close, but no, it's working very nice because it was a bit close here to the to this beautiful beach But that's fine and look at that so much cots in here so many people working on that Okay, very nice that's eight of them so we need four cotton mills and We're doing that here on this side here. So one two Three and four And we could use the space here for another fire station. And I'm also going to upgrade that warehouse here, even though we could build a second one because I'm going to have lots of productions here for the cotton. So I'm going to have the cotton farms on this side here and the cotton mills on this side here where I can boost them with a trade union later. And let's see if we can also increase the productivity here. Yeah, very nice. By 50% for the farms and by 50% of the cotton mill and that only 
adds a bit of unhappiness, not too much though. So that should work. And yep, my people are still very happy here, happy both of them. So we have that. Uh, and I think I have a second clipper over here somewhere. Oh yeah, there it is for the island. Bonita Lucia. That is the next island here. The last one for now. So we have four islands now in the new world. Even though there would be another one, but I don't want to overextend. The more islands I have, the more aggressive the AI becomes. So let's just keep it at that. And yeah, we can also start now a trade route from the new world to the old. So we have here Marillo. And in Marillo, we're going to say load cotton fabric. Let's say 150 tons, because if I load it full, the clipper is just way too slow. And it would take forever for it to get back to the, the, the old world. And here in the old world, we say Sleepy Hollow. Oh, wait a second. Should we have Sleepy Hollow? Yeah, let's have Sleepy Hollow. And I'm going to choose one of my clippers here in the new world. So Crawler. He's going to be the first one. The first clipper and the second clipper that I have here is going to be also on this trade route. So I want to have two ships here. Very nice. And the first cotton is being produced now in those cotton mills. I have cultivated quite a thirst. Very nice. Looking good so far. This looks so romantic everything. I just want to I just want to have a vacation here. Very nice. This is working out. This is the next production line then. The fur coats. And my clipper here is now on its way. We still haven't found Sean de la Fortune. So perhaps we should do that. It looks like that's the one. Because he's got lots of hills usually around him. So we go for that now and hopefully find him. Because of course I want to start my relationship with him as well. To get those epic items and ships and quest lines that you get when you have when you reach the highest state with them. Right, and we've also sailed to the starting point here, as far as I know. So we should actually be able to start the quest now. Do we need to wait now 22 minutes? Stay close to the target ship, but don't get too near. Items and cargo can alter your ship's speed. Sail to the starting point. The starting point. Oh, that's the one. Yeah, that's the one. Not the lighthouse. And we need to follow undetected, it seems. But I don't know. Is this quest bugged now? Because it seems like this one here is trapped. In here. This doesn't look good. Let's get away here with my ships. Perhaps it starts to move at some point. I don't know. Seems like it's going to take a while. There is another quest somewhere here as far as I know. Yeah, there it is. Puzzle quest. Stamped wild animals are eating all my hens. Poor things are so terrified. They haven't laid an egg in weeks. Please, governor, catch the rascals. Okay, so look for the wild animals running around the streets of your city, probably near the farmer's residences. Okay, the wild animals here running around. That 
There's some kettles. I don't see any wild animals so far. Near the farmer residences, so that's here. Just some people here. I think it's a it's a wolves or bears that are running around here that I should be looking for. That was the last time that I had this quest. Oh, finally, we have Sean La Fortune. We found him, so what we can do right away is we can get a ceasefire with him. Oh, we are on peace. Right, so he likes us for now. How could I possibly? And we're at war with her again, so let's get ceasefire there. Very nice. With Anne. A true pirate. Hmm, I don't see any wild animals. Did she see a, see a ghost or something? Definitely not here. Not at this this place here. We have like no, it doesn't show on the map. So we do have some farmer residences here as well. So snake eyes, is that how it is? I don't see any wild animals. And I think this quest here is bugged. Is it? Yeah, because that ship here is trapped. Look at that. It's trapped here in the in the middle. And it can't get out of there. So that's a bit that's a that's a problem. So let's just um delete this quest. There's a new one coming at some point. On the bright side, it'll be over soon. Oh he wants oh, 130,000. Well, then he declares war on Mir, but that was that was under expected. But we can have a ceasefire right away and pay him seventeen thousand. You know, that's much cheaper. Spin your wheel somewhere. Right, I can't find any wild animals here, and this is getting a bit tedious to look around here all the time. I need a city to manage. I have a city to manage here. No, oh, there's no war on us. No wolves, no bears, no wild dogs. Nothing dangerous here. I mean, it's definitely somewhere here, but you know, it's it's very hard in such a big city to find them because they're walking around as well and. Just leave the districts they're supposed to be in then. The non aggression pact has ended. Nothing. Let's have a last look to the other district again. Over here. No wild anim animals. You did say you'd see to it, didn't you? We all like a in the I did, but I didn't thought that it was that hard. Didn't think it was that hard to do that here. So nope. Let's let's just leave it at that. I don't want to look around here now forever. Um, we have something else to do. Um, let's have a look real quick at my clipper. Is it on its way now? Yeah, it's over there. Very nice. So we can have the second clipper now on the trade route here for the cotton. That's the one, Celestial. Going to be on the straight route here now too. And yeah, we already have a lot of cotton fabric there. And what we can do here is probably build a depot or something to increase my storage here. 
And we can also start with a brick production here in Marillo. So we have one here. And then we can have two brick factories just beside that one. And probably let's do it on another one too. So over here there's one. Let's get up here, build a warehouse. And clip it into brick factories. Right, but I need to upgrade a few more houses for the workforce there. Very nice, that's it. We've also unlocked a new building here. Nothing here though. Let's go back to the old world real quick because there is a sickness. Oh yeah, look at that. So we do need the hospital for that. There's the hospital now. Looking to that here in this area here. So I'm probably going to have another one here then. The second hospital. Uh, what we can do though in the meantime here is we can actually start with the paved streets. So I was neglecting that a bit. And of course we can't have artisans here that are running around on dirt streets. So let's do that since we have lots of bricks anyway and we don't need it right now. Let's start with the main streets here. So the big one. It's going to take a lot of resources there anyway. Going all the way up there. And also this main street here. All the way up there. Costs me quite some bricks there. Very nice. And let's also have another one here in this block here where we have artisans living. Very nice. That's the first paved streets here. And we need to wait for more bricks now anyway. Shouldn't take that much time. And I also wanted to check if we have now enough beer again. Oh, it's look, it's, it doesn't look that good though with beer. Yeah, this one here should get um, the schnapps as much as possible. Okay, so the cotton is on its way now and we need to think about the cotton fur production that we have, fur coat production. That means hunting cabins that we have here um, and they are quite unhappy because they're like a pup as far as I can see that. So there's no pup yet. Let's build one here. That should, um, yeah, give us a content population again. And we can start with the hunting cabins here now since we have lots of space for that. And I don't intend to do anything else here. So let's just have the fur. Let's start with the first fur production over here. So let's see, the hunting cabin produces every one minute. And the fur dealer um, produces every 30 seconds. So we need quite a lot of them actually. Let's start with this lot. And I think I'm going to activate the playlist again, the music. Because I really don't like the dramatic music all the time. Especially there's an illness in Sleepy Hollow. I'm on a complete different island now and I still have to listen to it. So, that's quite a few of them. Let's build some more. I'd rather have too many of them. Quite a lot of fur there now. Very nice. We still have enough farmers, so we can have lots of them here on this, on Tarek, on this island. And I just need a clipper for that, so Neptuno. Let's have the trade route for that. From Tarek to Sleepy Hollow, getting me some nice furs. Uh, 150 of that. Very nice. And Neptuno. 
There it is. That's the clipper on the trade right now for that. Very nice. So now we just need to wait a bit um, for that to activate then. And yeah, let's mobilize my hospital there. And what's very nice is that the illness doesn't spread on ships anymore. You know, so if one ship is sick, it doesn't spread to other ships anymore. That was a huge major letdown in the previous version. Especially in the in the sandbox mode later on where it could happen that all your ships went sick. So that's not going to happen anymore. One ship can still fall sick as far as I know, but it's just spreading the sickness to other ports then. So you still have to look out for that, but you don't need to micromanage all your ships anymore in case of, a, of a, an illness. Let's get two more clippers that we need. And yeah, this one here is working now, so we just need to wait now a bit for the raw materials, the fur and the cotton to come in. And then we can start with the fur dealers. That's going to work quite nicely here. The next one would be the rum. So we need sugar cane for that, which is also just something where we need farmers. Let's have a look at the raw needs here. Yep, so the fur coats are coming in now and then the canned food. And the rum is much more important, especially when it comes to money, because my workers, my artisans and my engineers... Uh, oh, not the workers. My artisans, engineers and investors need rum. So having rum pays a lot of taxes. That's something we definitely should look for. And it's not that difficult to make, so we only need sugar cane. Let's see if we can buy a clipper. We can buy a clipper here in the new world. Very nice. We're going to need that. And we can start here. We already have El Sarao as our little village here. That we've built last time. So here we're going now with the the sugar cane production. It only needs farmers and some timber. So we do have all the prerequisites here on this island. And then we can transport that. Or should we transport it actually? Or should we produce it here right away? Yeah, I think we can produce the rum here on El Sarao right away. And then just transport the rum. That's a good idea. Because we have lots of space here. Oh, that's, that's not a good newspaper edition here. Let's see. I definitely want to have some more income there. And... Yeah, need for consumption goes down. And let's also have the... The riot chance minus. What's that? Attack speed of ships. That's the riot chance here. Let's have this one. So we have additional money here, less consumption and... Minus 50% for riots. That sounds like a good plan. Right, and in the next one we are going to start here with the rum production. Looking forward to that. Stay tuned. Keep the 